the deal YouTube it's your boy Rico the Waver and I'm back with another video today we're going to be basically showing you how to basically double compress and the best ways that I use to double compress and lay down my hair double compression is basically you know you having on two different do rags basically laying down your hair like more you know more compressed y'all y'all should know what double compression is but it, it's, it's a lot of different ways you can double compress like for instance right now I got on two regular do rags, and I'm gonna show y'all how I rag it up and and make everything double compressed, like lay down. So I'm gonna just show y'all the rag right now. So that's with two do rags. That's with two do rags, double compressed and tied up the way that I tie it. Now there's also another way you could do it. You could wear two uh, one do rag and put this you know cap on and do it that way. I'm gonna show you how to do it both ways. There's, there's different several ways you can do it. You can also you can wear three do rags if you really you know if you really really heavy woofing and you want to lay your hair down just completely. But I really don't recommend it because once you get to this, it, it's not gonna make a difference unless you put it on a certain way. Because if you wear two do rags and then try to put this on, it's not gonna make a difference. You gotta literally put one do rag on, double compress this one, and then throw another one on top of it in. It won't make it won't make no difference unless you throw on two do rags, and then and then and this has to go in the middle. So don't ever throw this on on top of two do rags. Like if I put this on, on top of both of these do rags, it's not gonna compress nothing because it's too flimsy. It's not as hard. It's not. It don't tie down like the do rags do. It's just a cap. So that's why it's good to throw it in between if you're gonna do it like that. But we're wearing three do rags. That's just too much anyway. Your brain gonna start. Everything gonna start like you know aching. That's too tight on your head. That's the, you know you're gonna pop your skull or something. But we gonna go ahead and unrag. I'm gonna show y'all what my hair looking like, and I'm gonna show y'all how to um, basically how I double compress. I'll show y'all the waves real quick. I know that's what y'all was waiting on. Alright, so this is the first way you can double compress. Throw it on just like that. And you get your second do rag. Throw that one on just like the same way. Make sure you untie them. Then what you do in the front is you grab the second do rag that the first do rag that you have on. You move this this one back. Grab this one, pull it down a little bit. Pull that one back down. Bring both the strings back. Just like that. So it should be a little flap right there in the front. That's on the hairline. You put it on the hairline. You don't have to wear it way down here because the string's going to be down there. So you put this one on the hairline so the hairline can be laid when you whipping. Just completely laid because this is going to be the tightest part. So once you got both of those back there, once you, you pick and choose which one you want to tie first now. I don't mind to be, you know, this is where the styling part comes in. I, I got the camel do rag and the black do rag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it up and put the black on the front. I'm going to just show you how to do it. Let me, let me just do it for you so I can better explain it. Basically, I'm going to tie this one first and then switch it up. Basically, I'm going to tie this one first since it's on top because I want the black to show on the front. I don't want the camo to show on the front. That way it could look like I got on like a two, a different type of do-rag with black strings with camo on the camo on the top. It's pretty much just styling at this point. You know, you already got that flat flip, keep it flipped as you're doing this. You got two strings left. Now this is why I was telling you about the stylish part. 
Y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. Take one string. Unravel it. Just like that. You can take the next one. Take it around the other side. Now, as far as, you know, this in the back, uh, you could tuck it, do whatever you want to at this point, because now it's, it's how you like, how you, you know, it's personal, personal preference on how you like to do your rag. So, me personally, I like to tie it up. Some people like to leave, leave it down. It's all up to you. But that's basically how you double compress with two do-rags. That's how you double compress with two do-rags. Have it all styled out. However you like it, you can match it. You, you can do whatever you want to do with it, man. But that's how you double compress with two do-rags. Now, I'm going to show you how to double compress with a do-rag and a stocking cap. Or, or whatever cap you got. It could be the boo-boo cap, the moon, the moon, whatever that one is called. What is that one called? Wait a minute. Who are you? The Monsu cap. It's, yeah, yeah, whatever cap you got, you can basically just use that one. It, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, the first way I showed y'all is how to like completely just compress your hair down and really get that full effect of the double compress when you really in your high woofing stages. Now this one is like mid-woof. Depending on which cap you got is mid-woof or it could be when you deepen your woof, it can also be like a good way to lay it down. But this this one right here, this type of cap is like mid-woof. You don't want to use this when you're too deep, deep. Cause it's not gonna do nothing, cause it's not strong enough. When you get a boo boo cap and stuff like that, that has a band, a different band at the bottom and stuff like that, you know, it'll lay down and be strong enough to lay your hair down at higher woofing stages. So, like once again, put your do rag on just like this, you know. And for all my people that already know how to double compress, this video is not for you. This video is for all my new waivers that want to learn how to double compress. So don't be down in the comments talking about, I already know how to double compress. I don't know why you're making a video. Don't do all that, dude. Just chill out. Watch the video. You might learn something you didn't know. You know? Let, the, let, the, let, let all the new waivers, let all the new waivers learn how to double compress. Because it, it, it's about that time people woofing. They're trying to get their waves in right now. They knew. So basically, you know, all I did was basically just throw the do-rag on the, the cap on just like that. Then you pull this one down, do that fold again, to the back with the strings. And you you know, you do a quick little pull down. This one don't gotta be all up on the hairline. You know, just like that. Same thing again. Another thing you could do in the back. I can find this string is push it down in the back too. So that way you could tie it above so it could lock it in. Like so. That way it won't slide off. And then tight. Pull it down. Boom, like I told y'all, the flap, personal preference, man, however you want to do it. You can tuck it in, you can leave it out, however you want to do that part, that's on you. But a key important part, a key important part about double compressing is you got to pull it down in the back or else when you sleep, this thing going to fly off your head. It will fly off your head. It will, it will slick, it will do whatever it do and it's going to come off your head. If you don't tuck it under the top. As y'all can see, it's tucked all the way under here. It's under here. I tucked it down like that. Boom. 
and the tie is up here. So what that tie is doing, basically holding it in its place so it don't fly off your head. And this flap in the front, why I got the, you know, why you got them like this, why I got them spread out instead of all thin, is it's holding it down just like that and you won't have lines on your forehead. That's another key tip for my new waivers. And I really personally, what I like to do with, with the flat part is I like to tuck the flat because it pulls everything down and it's just not all over the place. It's tucked in and once you tuck it, it's pulling tighter. So it's like, it's really double compressed. That's why I always tuck. Always tuck. That's what I do. I always tuck. I never leave the flap out because when you leave the flap out, you can, you can fall asleep, flap, flip up, boom. No, you don't want to do that. Always tuck your flap in. It's, you know, that's what I do as a Corsair waiver. So that's the second way of how I double compress. Now, I'm going to show you all the final way on how to double compress with all three. I'm talking all three do-rags. All three. This one, the one I got on, and another one. It's three do-rags. No, actually, it's two do-rags and one cap. I keep getting them mis mistaken. Two do-rags and one cap. Now, boom, what you want to do now, now that I told y'all y'all already got this part tucked in, it's already tucked under the, you know, the, the cap is tucked under the, um, where it's tied in the back so it can stay still like I told y'all already. Now, what you want to do is just basically take another do-rag, throw it on like so, make sure y'all untie it because, you know, you got to untie it so you can just tie it tighter because y'all don't want to have preset ties like that's done. I mean, it's cool and all, it's quick, but your hair never going to be laid. It's going to be set to that pre-tie as when you took it off. Once you take it off and it's already pre-tied, it loses its grip. So now, pretty much the same progress, process. Take it and just go just like that. Like I said, you can even wait and have a black in the front. You can even wait and just throw this one on on top. And really, and really, really compress it. Then once again, you just tie it in the back. Pull it down, just like that. Real easy. Now, as far as tucking this one, you don't have to really tuck this one unless you want to, because it's going to start giving you headaches and stuff like that. But that's another way you could um, basically double compress, just like that. Now, I ain't going to end the video off. We're going to get a quick brush session in. I don't want to just come on here and just show y'all how to double compress and bounce out. I'll at least get a brush session in with y'all real quick because I know y'all probably already brushing, which you should be brushing while you're watching this video. If you're not, I don't know what you're doing. You, you slipping, you lacking. I don't know what you're doing, man, because you need to be picking up that brush and brushing right now because you just don't got no waves on your head. Is the reason why you're watching this video where your waves are not laid because you're not brushing and you want to learn how to double compress to lay your hair down. But you can't really lay it down unless you're really brushing because the brush, the brush is going to lay your hair down regardless. The do-rag, just saving the progress. And, 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 and double compressing it down so it can really be laid laid. That's all it do is say the progress and make the hair laid. But the only thing that's really going to make it help get laid too is that brush. you got to train your hair to lay down. Training your hair to lay down is not with a do-rag. you got to train with that brush. That's how you really train with the brush. There's no other way. Can't get do can't get waves by just throwing on a do-rag every night. you got to brush. So as y'all can see, my hair, from doing this, my hair is already back laid. Like, it's laid, more laid than even usual. Because when I first took my do-rag off, it wasn't this laid. That's how I can feel right now. And of course, you're going to have, you know, stuff in the back because you're tying it real tight. So you just brush that down.
do brush your hair is going to come up and what we're going to do is I'm going to double compress and then right now I want y'all to really double compress whatever you're doing if you're not double compressed already from watching the video go ahead and double compress you know do what you do double compress um, before you go to sleep and guaranteed in the morning they're going to come in Make sure y'all hitting y'all angles right. Even if you're not in a mirror that's behind you or something like that, at least have a big enough mirror to see your angles and learn your angles so you don't have to hit them. When you're, hitting, when you're doing your angles, they won't be crooked or nothing like that when you're not in a mirror. When I'm not in a physical mirror behind me and one in front of me, when I'm just in one in front of me, learn your angles so you know that you're hitting it right. Because if not, you're going to have to create forks and all that kind of stuff. So just be aware that when you brush it like this without a mirror behind you. Alright y'all, so we're going to double compress one more last time. I'm doing this for y'all one more last time because I need to rag up for the night. And we're going to call it a wrap, man. But let me just show y'all basically how to do this, man. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You know, make sure y'all commenting on these videos and liking these videos, man, so we can help it boom up. If y'all want to see me grow, y'all got to like the video, share with your friends. Share with everybody you know that got waves. Anybody you know that feel like they need some new tips on their waves, it don't even have to be like a, oh, bro, I think you need tips. No, it could just be like, hey, bro, you should check this person out, bro. He's, he's, a, he's a good little waver. He be having some good tips. And I'll be watching, bro. Like, don't be afraid to let your homie know to watch the wave videos, bro. Or, you know. Any female waivers out there, I have a couple female waivers that, that, that commented on a couple videos. Don't be afraid to let a couple of your male friends know to watch the video. Basically, spread the word, man. That's all I'm asking, y'all. I don't really ask for too much. Let's try to get the video to at least 50 likes. That's all I'm asking for. And, you know, that's basically how to double compress, man. It's been your boy Rico the Waiver, and I'm out.